From UFOs to ghost and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Earth's oceans are gigantic. Even in the modern era, it is not uncommon for a ship or a plane to become lost in the vast expanse of the seas. In the days before satellites and GPS, this danger was ever-present. Certain areas of the world were considered particularly unlucky, some would even say cursed. The Bermuda Triangle is the most famous of these locations. Also known as the Devil's Triangle, the Bermuda Triangle is generally thought to stretch east from Miami to Bermuda and south to Puerto Rico. Multiple disasters have been attributed to the Triangle, most famously in December of 1945, when five Navy planes allegedly disappeared in the area. The list of alleged accidents in the Bermuda Triangle seems to grow each year. Mainstream scientists have attributed the events to a wealth of mundane, natural causes, from pilot error to bad weather. But could they be wrong? Here's where it gets crazy. Some researchers aren't satisfied with these natural explanations. In fact, they say the disappearance might be due to something more sinister, strange, and mysterious. Bermuda researchers like Charles Berlitz list a number of supernatural explanations for the activities in the Bermuda Triangle. Although Berlitz himself did not accept the more extraordinary claims, people around the world have held to some bizarre explanations. Here's where multiple paranormal or conspiracy theories converge. Some have claimed that the activity in the Triangle comes from lost technology of the mythical Atlantis. Others have claimed that the Bermuda Triangle covers an area of intense geomagnetic force, similar to Stonehenge or other sites along the alleged ley lines that mystics believe crisscross the Earth. Of course, no mysterious phenomenon is complete without a mention of aliens. It gets even weirder. When the psychic Edgar Cayce predicted that Atlantis would be rediscovered, his disciples believed him. And, by their account, he was proven correct with the discovery of Bimini Road. This undersea formation stretches for half a mile near the North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. To Casey's followers, the limestone blocks laid across the ocean floor are man-made, or, at least, made by an alien civilization, and prove that Atlantis was originally based somewhere in the Atlantic. The Bimini Road was discovered in 1968. Although mainstream science has largely decided that the formations along the Bimini Road are natural rather than manufactured, the debate continues. While the Bermuda Triangle is the primary source of obsession for followers of strange maritime phenomena, it isn't the only game in town. There's also the Devil's Triangle in the far Pacific, near Miyake Island. While the Dragon's Triangle doesn't have near as many alleged crashes under its belt, it does have a similar reputation. Several conspiracy theorists claim that these areas are related in a way that modern science has yet to understand. Skeptics place no credence in any of these claims. They argue that the Bermuda Triangle's reputation is solely based on exaggeration, bad research, and twisted facts. The Bermuda Triangle is a high traffic area, and although accidents do occur, they are proportionately no more frequent in this area than in any other part of the world. This is usually the part where conspiracy theorists allege a cover-up. So who is correct? While the majority of researchers and scientists agree that the Bermuda Triangle mystery has been debunked, the belief persists. Despite Casey's prophecy, Atlantis has yet to reappear and many of the alleged incidents have, upon further investigation, turned out to be easily explained. Yet even the most committed skeptic must admit, the oceans are vast, and we have no idea what they contain. While mainstream science dismisses the claims of paranormal researchers, they still hold to the original arguments, and, although many people have given up the debate, the conspiracists and the skeptics agree on one thing. Only time will tell what lies beneath the waves.